Hi, and thanks so much for joining me. Today we are featuring some of the new items from the Dior collection. If you'd like to see that, please keep watching. Let's go ahead and open up the packages. I did order this from Selfridges. Two of the Pure Glow palettes, one lip, and we've got one glow stick, which I'm really curious about. This looks similar to the other Dior packaging that I have. This is a shade Triple Bloom 663. This one's 643 Pure Petals. Here they are for comparison. This is a bit more mauve that's a bit more peach. Here you've got more of a peachy tone and more of a golden tone. Here's more of a deep burgundy, almost a plum. And then this one, a little bit more brightness about it, a little bit more red. You have the logo on the front here, the CD. This looks like a nice warm pink shade. Pretty pink silver, very sleek packaging with the shade of the product on the bottom. This looks a bit translucent, so I'm not quite sure what exactly this does yet, but we are going to find out. we could go in with 663 today and then we'll do the other one the next time. So this is the one that has more of that peachy tone rather than the gold in the middle. This one looks a little bit interesting to use because this shimmer here has those individual particles that I don't really love. So I'm going to go in with this more salmony shade kind of all over the lid and then we'll build dimension with this deeper shade and see how it goes. I feel like there are two shades I can really do something with here. And then that third shade is kind of like an accent. And this may end up being like a pink kind of eyeshadow look. So that could be like a one and done kind of color. Let's go in with the deeper shade on the exterior. Like I'm putting that in there and that's all I'm getting in this darker shade. Interesting. So let me see if I can pick up some color here. Hmm. Not much. Um, not much on the brush, but maybe we don't need a lot. Let's see. Okay, it's not really picking it up. I wonder if to get through that top layer first. It seems really dense, like in terms of how packed it is. Okay, there we go. As far as this shade is going, it's not really behaving like the other palettes that I have by them. It's a bit challenging to pick up, but it is going on quite smoothly. Once you actually get the color on there, maybe we'll keep it a little bit more soft. So this is like almost like a monochromatic look, but with a different um, intensities of the same shade because this just looks like this first shade I put on, but more intense. <laughs> yeah, it definitely takes a little bit of work to get this deeper shade going, this one, versus that first one. The first one was really easy to work with. It went on really smoothly. Really pretty, like, pink salmon color. Let's go in underneath with the deeper shade. Let's see if this dense brush can pick it up a little bit better. 
Okay, I'm gonna go above as well. Okay, this is definitely a pinker eyeshadow look that at first didn't strike me like that, but uh, that's kind of how it's turning out. <laughs> Let's go in with the lighter shade. We're gonna go in the inner corner taking this. Okay, that's really intense. I did not expect that. Okay, I'm gonna add a bit of earth and then some mascara, and then I'm going to finish off the other side too. I went ahead and added the Chantecaille mascara to the top and bottom, just one coat. Let's go in with this product because I'm not quite sure about it. So it looks again, translucent. It looks like a lip balm. And when I put it on the back of my hand, you can see some color. So this is in the shade Coral Glow. So I don't know if this is like the Chanel balms. Let's see. I didn't powder here just because I wasn't sure what was gonna happen. I did powder in the front and then I powdered on the side, but not right here. Okay, so there actually is some color showing up, which I'm surprised about. I didn't think you'd be able to see anything on my skin. It has a balmy texture. It feels like a lip balm. It's a little bit stickier than the Chanel balms. If you've tried those, those have, um, a little bit of stick to them, but mm, this is really feels like a lip balm. You get a bit of a glow as well with this, just because of the texture. So I'm doubting this is going to dry down. Let's see if I put it straight on my face. Definitely has more intense color doing that. I might use this for like a no makeup kind of a day when I don't have foundation. Okay, I don't wanna to mess too much with this area near the concealer because I don't think it's going to go well. <laughs> I'm testing out the Gucci primer with other foundations just to see if it's compatible. So far, so good. So that's the blush. We're gonna leave it there. I'm not gonna add anything else. I think if I try to put powder on top, it's not gonna work anyway, but let's go in with the lip. So I have the shade 241 and this one is pink, but it has some warmth. So I thought it looked promising. I have the extra challenge of already having color to my lips. So trying to even out is always a, an issue. It's very hydrating though, this formula. Um, it is a rouge dior. I think this would work for you if you have lighter colored lips and had a little bit of a cooler skin tone. I mean, I think this goes with this eye. And that blush actually shows up very, very faintly. <laughs> Let's add Jasper in the waterline. just on the outer two thirds. And let's go ahead and deepen that corner a little bit with the darker shade. Let's see if we can intensify. And then underneath as well. Okay, so a little bit more intense. So let's go in with the winged liner, Surratt liquid liner brown, and then I will go in with the mascara for a couple more coats. Back with winged liner, a couple coats of mascara. Also, I did want to mention these are Dior earrings. So you can find them on the Dior site. I will list the information below. I get asked about these earrings probably more than any other earrings that I've had, but they're just so unique. In case you were ever wondering about these two, they're really comfortable to wear. They don't feel heavy, although it looks like there's a lot going on. Yeah, one of my favorite pairs. So let's talk about the items. Starting with the palette. Now, this doesn't look like I've used it at all. The colors, okay, the salmon color was really easy to pick up. I think it went on really evenly. This deeper shade though, really difficult to pick up. So this is what the brush looks like after I kind of like, well, I went back and forth several times trying to maybe break through that top layer, I don't know. And it does seem to come across as just a little bit deeper shade than the first shade that I put on, even though they don't really look like each other. I still feel like it comes across as a monochromatic eye and that I just maybe layered a little bit more on the exterior. To me, they don't look that different. I think I see the biggest difference underneath the eye though, when I went in with a more dense brush and packed on the color down there. As for this middle color, I do like it just for an accent. Yeah, there's a little bit too much individual shimmer in there for me. So I did just like it in the inner corner. I don't know if this is a palette I needed. Okay, I know this is not a palette I needed because it does have that like overall pink look and I have so many 
colors like that already that I already don't use. I think it's really beautiful though. I mean, if you collect makeup and don't really plan on using it, I know some people do, they just collect it. This is gorgeous. One of the prettiest palettes I've seen. The embossing of the flowers and then the Christian Dior going across. I think it's stunning to look at, um, but in terms of actually using it, I don't know if it's something I'm really going to pull for. We'll see, but, but yeah, my favorite shade was probably this one followed by this. And then again, this was just really difficult to pick up, but once I got it going, it blended really nicely. Then let's talk about this, the Stick Glow. I don't know if I would use this. <laughs> I have so many products kind of like this. It's very faint on my skin. So I think if you're very fair, this might show up nicely on you. It just, I don't know. I don't think it did much here for me. I'll have to look in the playback. Really subtle though. I guess if I'm looking for just like a hint of color, I would pull for this, but it still feels like, like a little bit sticky. Um, so there's that. <laughs> this lip color, it's also going to require, I think a lip liner also for me to cancel out this exterior color in order for it to come across as more even. Um, so I'm going to have to try it like that. So I'm gonna actually film something after this, which is actually going to go before this. <laughs> so I'm gonna film my haul. So for the haul, I'm going to try it with a lip liner first and then add that on. So we'll see if that looks any better. So that will have shown up yesterday for you if you wanna see what that looks like with a lip liner. Yeah, so overall, I'm gonna say these are probably products I don't really need. Um, I'm glad I tried them because I'm always curious about new things. I think that the previous Dior palettes that I featured just are easier to use and there's more variety. But let me know if you're interested in this, if you've already picked it up or if you're going to pass. I will be featuring the other palette and another look and maybe this will be different. I don't know, it looks really kind of like bright compared to the one I just used. So we will see. So stay tuned in case you wanna see that because I will be doing that look soon as well. But that is it for today's video. So please take care of each other, stay well. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time.